Okay, and that is pretty lame. Okay, hello guys, my name is Eza and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be a book tag and it's called The Bougie Booktuber Book Tag and it's created by Olive on the channel A Book Olive. I'll put all the links down in the description below and let's get started. Okay, first question. <clears throat> What is your average monthly budget for books? Honestly, I have no budget whatsoever, so it can swing both ways. I can spend a huge ass chunk amount of money on books or like none at all. So be, yeah, pretty much. I don't have a budget. Yeah, I mean like I guess you're supposed to, but when you're working and you have to buy books with your own like money, you start to really think about books you want to buy or books you don't want to buy or books in general so i start to think it's like is it really worth it to buy some of these books because i always get disappointed by books i read so is it worth the money is the question okay next what's the most you've ever spent in a bookstore it depends if it's my own money it's 200 ringgit because it was a sale and i went absolutely crazy but if it's my mother's money it's a different different category. Wait, my, my phone is dying. Yeah, it's a different category. I've spent like, well, not really I've spent. She gave me the money, you know. She gave me like 500 ringgit to spend in Kinokunia, which was best time ever. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's so lame. So anyways, third question. Are you willing to pay full price for a brand new release or will you wait until you have a coupon or there's a sale? It highly depends. Highly depends in terms of whether that book is something that I really want to read and also is it in the budget. For example, like if I really, really, really want to read it, then fuck the budget, you know, fuck my monthly budget. I can like not eat for the month. But if it's something that I can wait or something that I don't mind waiting for, I just repeat it that why, I have no idea, then yeah, probably I'll just wait for like a coupon or like a sale or like wait until it's in the library or something. But I know myself and I don't really spend a lot of money on books anymore because hello, NetGalley in the library. So yeah, usually I'll just wait. But if I really, really want it, then yeah, I'll buy it. What question is this? Is this the fourth question? Yeah, it's the fourth question. Fourth question is, would you rather buy one new book or several less expensive used copies? Obviously, several less expensive used copies. I mean like the Asian in me. Okay, not really Asian in me, but it's more like the cheap ass in me. It's like thinking, why would I buy one book for about 35, 40 ringgit if I can buy five books for the same amount of money? Like, hello? This is about quantity, not quality. Especially when you're a broke ass bitch. Okay, what do you think is a reasonable price for a new hardback book, a paperback, or an ebook? I'm not the best person to ask this question because I have no idea. But I'm thinking, like, if it's a hardback, 60 to 120 ringgit, depending on the thickness and how pretty the book cover is. Second one is paperback would be 35 to 50. Again, depending on how thick it is. The thicker the better. That sounded wrong. Never mind. Ebook, I'll probably put it as 20 ringgit maximum. I don't know. I never buy my ebooks. I always get it from NetGalley, which I don't know, the format is a bit shit, but hey. When you broke, you get what you can. Is a signed book worth more to you? How about first edition? I really don't care. I don't give shit. Unless, unless I can like meet the author face to face, then probably, yeah, I would give a shit because I want to meet my favorite historical romance authors and, you know, ask them where did you get their ideas? What about the sexy times? How, is it like from personal experience or something that they want to do, you know, to their husbands or whatever? But Overall, I'm not really a person who really cares about signed editions or like first editions. If I like a book, I like a book. The author is inconsequential. Okay, my phone died on me, but the next question is, what is your most valuable book, sentimental or actual value? So most of my books have no actual value whatsoever, so it's mostly sentimental. 
and the most valuable books that I own are obviously the Harry Potter series and also books that are gifted to me by my friends and family because they mean a lot. It's like they know I love to read and they personally chose this book that they gave me, you know, as a recommendation and I think that's really nice. Okay, next question. Will you pay more for a cover or edition you like better? Obviously, I'm already paying for it. I might as well get ones that I like. Why on earth would I pay for something and get the edition that I didn't really like just because it's cheaper? Like, girl, you're already paying for it. Get the ones you like. Okay. What physical characteristics does a good book quality have? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just choose a book. If it looks cute, then I'll take it. I'll read the synopsis. If it looks good, okay, we'll go into the cashier not the question for me next one if you won the lottery what bookish things would you do with the money obviously buy books not the best answer but hey when you haven't well not really it's like when you only buy books once a year buying books is the only thing in your mind when you do have money to buy bookish things you know i'm not really into the whole trinket the bookish trinkets whatever i'm more into the cold heart books like get them Pay for them, read them, and then donate them to the library. Done. Bonus question. This is the last, not the previous one was the last question. This is the bonus question. Duh. My brain did not compute. Okay. Bonus. Give us an image, actual or mental, of your dream library. Or dream home library. Okay, I'm thinking more of like, obviously, shelves. Shelves that are easy to clean, number one. Number two, it's easy for me to take out the books, you know? And then number three, I don't want it to be kind of like too long, like the width of it. I want it to be just nice to accommodate the books because it's easier to clean. Like you put it in, you don't have to dust too many things and the height must be like just nice as well to fit most books. And then that's one. I don't really want, well, I want like a shelf. My phone died on me again. I really need to get rid of a few files in my phone because I do not have any more space. So basically, yeah, I just want a shelf that's easy to clean. Um, and then second, I would like a huge-ass window. Like a huge-ass window, you know? It's like shelves. Okay, let's just pretend this is, this is the room. Right? I want like shelves here, shelves on the other side, and that window, expand it to be like to accommodate both make it the whole wall make it the whole wall is just freaking glass window obviously i would have to you know put safety precautions so i don't fall out of the window and die but you know i would like the whole thing to be a window so i can open it and i can just be like huh? like you know like enchanted like a little pr disney princess but like, -la 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 -la. not the point but yes it's like what do you call it a huge ass window so I, there's like air ventilation and then there's sunshine when it's raining, like it's nice. But then again, oh my god, now that I think about it, what if there's like a crazy stalker outside your window? Or worse, entities. God shit, I don't want to see no Miss P out there. I'll explain what is Miss P down below. I'm just, I don't want to see that shit. But anyways, yeah, that is my dream library. But again, if there's like entities, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll have to rethink this question. But basically, huge ass window air ventilation, sun shining, books everywhere, book, you know, shelves that are easy to clean, and that's my dream library for the home. I cannot speak. So that is it for my book tag. See you in the next video. Bye guys.